Today, another version update. We got version 87 of Descript, and it's a really small one, and it relates to Descript Labs. And if you don't know what Descript Labs is, check out the link up here where I tell you how to activate Descript Labs and what it can do for you. But basically, it's a beta feature. It's a way to opt into Descript's beta features. And the beta feature they have right now, there's only one, it's this new timeline view. And if you're seeing this in the future, this might be the the only timeline view, but as of now, it's in beta, and this is what it looks like. It's just a little bit of a more cleaner, modern type of view. And the feature that they added with this update is something that allows you to select whether you control all scenes or just the scene that you have selected. That is a clip that spans multiple scenes. So right here, you can see this type of scene where it goes into, it starts in scene one and it spans into scene two. And so it lets you know that you're editing in all scenes, or you can click this drop down and say, I only want to edit in this scene. And now whatever I do to this scene, if I resize it, if I do something like this, it's only going to apply to this scene. So if I go back to the first part of that span, it goes back to how it was, but I can change it to all scenes and then I can reposition it around. And now, hold on, let me resize this. Let me do something with it. Um, it's not working like that. <laughs> this is a bad demo. Uh, if I resize it here, let's see what happens. Okay, so it should, when I have it selected to all scenes, it should apply to all scenes. There we go, like that. And so that that is really awesome because this happens all the time with the current timeline where you don't realize the edits you're making, especially with something like captions or titles, you, you want it to affect all the scenes that that clip is in, but it's only affecting the clip that you're currently selected. So this is really a, really a nice UI change that will help a lot of people and clear up a lot of confusion. Again, you can check my link in the description on how to opt into Descript Labs so that you can see that. The other thing that they tell us is they have a sales tax and transcription fee that if you're in the US, before there was no sales tax tacked on to your Descript service. And now if you're in certain US states, you will in fact have that uh, sales tax and transcription fees tacked on. And then lastly, they got their normal menu of bug fixes here. These are usually minor things. Fix a bug causing low frame rate when recording with a specific webcam, the Logitech C290. They fixed a bug with Microsoft Surface built-in cameras not being selectable in Descript a bug preventing basic users from changing speakers in a project, fix an issue preventing resizing the camera preview on Windows when recording, fixed a bug that created a purple line at the bottom of some exports, fix an issue on published pages causing them to go blank when adding a comment, and fix a bug where the cursor would not stop to edit boundaries in the timeline. So that's it for version 86. I will be back with version 88.